Phil Clark is the director of Cinderella at the Everman Theatre in Cheltenham this year. He's also the writer. During a break in a rather noisy rehearsal room, I asked Phil how long he'd been doing the pantomimes here. Year nine. <laughs> year nine. Year nine. How long will it go on? Well, uh, next year's is chosen already, so we know what we're doing. So don't ask me. You're not, not going to tell you. It's a surprise. We'll be buying a little flat in Cheltenham <laughs> next. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. It's, well, as I was saying earlier on this morning, it's becoming a 12-month job. As soon as I finish one year, we've chosen the next one. So I go away, I start writing, and then we're starting into auditioning. And I, mean, do, I mean, is it literally that? I mean, when do you start? You, you know the title, but yeah. when do you start actually putting words on paper? I start putting words on paper in March. And you're thinking about casting at the same time? Yes. Yeah, and what we want to do with it and what we want to do, you know, what's different to the way that we want to do it before. So, you know, we're then going to start doing castings and, and, and uh, you know, getting new energies in and all that sort of thing. So it is a 12-month job. But you do lots of other things as well. Oh, gosh, and yes. they get the same amount of dedication. Yes, yeah, you've got, you know, as being a freelance director, that's who you are. You are, you are a juggler. You're balancing this show, that show, this show, that show. But that's the So that's how many shows do you do in a normal year? About seven. I would think, yes. Yeah, se- about seven or eight. But some of those are repeats? Are the same some of them are repeats, but, you know, straight from here I go to Rill to do Panto. So, you know, there's two You've coming... You've got a proper little routine, though, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice. You know, I usually... I haven't done one le- uh, before that this show. I've just finished doing um, September Tide over uh, Daphne du Maurier over in Southwold. I didn't know that. Lovely play, lovely play. So there's, uh, there's always four or five or six, plus those that you're developing. Because to set up a new show, I always say takes two years. So I've got three shows in development at the moment. So doing what we call R and D, research and development. So uh, I'm do- so I've got three of those in, in 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 development. So yeah, you know, there's there, there's a constant. You sort of, sort of say right, Monday is a is a panto day. I'm just going to just concentrate well, on. Can panto. you do that? I mean, surely. You, yeah. You- it, it changes. You've just, got to, you've just got to be adaptable. You've just got to be adaptable. But, you know, that's the joy, isn't it? You know, gosh. Better than God, being out of work. You can, and, and God forbid I got a proper job. Do you know what I mean? This is mm. fantastic, isn't it? It's just lovely be living But in, don't, I mean, does it never jar? Do you never say, oh, Christ, not Cinderella again? Well, yeah, but, you know, like this year I've changed it, I've changed it around because quite... I was very concerned about doing Cinderella with Willie. Because we've set up that relationship with Willie and his audience here as being glorious and it's celebratory. And the bottom line is, the sisters have got to be the baddies. Mm. And I, I thought, oh, I've got to think about this because I don't but it think... it did actually work quite well, what it was, four or five years ago. Yes, with, but um, that was four or five years ago when Willie's... Be, and you he know, didn't have Tweedy there. Yes, and I think, you know, times have changed. People expect Willie to be friendly and all that. So I thought, oh, well, this is an opportunity to do something different with, with the sisters and to do them sort of as ad, ab fab, really. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I thought what was interesting was to do them as consumerists. Yeah, so they are about spending money. They are about That's shopping. Good, the ad fad thing is very good. Yes, you know, uh, and 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 consumerism is such a big thing for kids at the moment. And you know, and that and that um, being famous and being celeb. And I thought the sisters could be ruthlessly that. So there was an opportunity there to go to go for something different rather than just playing them as the dames. In yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and then rewriting it in that way so that Willie could remain glorious with his relationship with the audience. So so you know that that's a real challenge. It's a real challenge. And you know something. For instance, you know I've got a uh, uh, I've got a, a great love of Wendy Abrahams. You know who I think is you know incredibly well, talented. We share that. Isn't it? She's just terrific. And I thought, yes, you know, she's done Principal Boy, she's done Dandini, she's done Fairy. And I thought, this would be nice for her to do something different again. And, you know, the great thing about someone like Wendy, being a local actress, she's up for something new. And she's, you know... It's also a better part. The bad is always a better part than a good fair. The good fair is a bit thankless, really. You come and wave your wand and spread a bit Absolutely. Absolutely. A bit more interested in this one when it's the uh, the fairy godmother. She's a bit more to do than than in other pantos. But... I, I just think, you know, so I'm really interested in developing that ab fab thing because I think... No, I think that sounds really good. You know, they're always in Primark shopping. They're always... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes, they're always in H&M shopping. Do you know what I mean? It's all about consumerism. Is there any sponsorship involved here? 
<laughs> oh, I dare say there will be. I dare say there will be. You know, and the and I think the worry for the dame, you know, has, you know, for, you know that uh, you know they're going to take her tax credits away. So how's she going to support them? Do you know what I mean? It's all that thing because that's what Panda's got to be, isn't it? It's got to have that contemporary element. Yes. Uh, no, absolutely. But I mean, we've had this discussion a thousand times before about you not using um, celebrities off the yeah. telly because there was almost too much of this contemporary reference yes. in things. It yes. was too much of the moment, whereas pantomime should always be traditional. Yes. But yeah. as you described the, the two of your sisters, it seems to be an ideal yeah. sort of balance between the yeah. two. Yeah, I think so. You know, they, they are not famous actresses. Do you know what I mean? They're, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna, they're going to deal with the character. I think one of the problems with when you've got famous people is that can you see through their, their well, famous you, but, but you're not expected to and you're not no. encouraged to. No, they, just do, they come on and do their turn. You know, and I think we have very successfully over the last nine, ten years here, our box office has grown and grown and grown and grown and people you know, are, mm. are loving what we're doing, which is That's fantastic. Sure, right. You're only as good as your last show, aren't you? That's why I love it, because we don't try to be anything else than honest to the performers that we've got you know and they're very talented they're very but you've talented. got a, a, your 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 core company is a lot smaller than it used to be yeah it is yeah it is it is it is i mean it's the same size company yeah but you uh, used to have a core which was yeah, 80 percent yes, and now yes. it's only what 40 yeah. percent yeah same. changing it around and bringing bringing new performers on bringing new people into but it i mean I, I, what I like, we've, we've had this discussion before, was that there was this rep feeling that it was always yes. the same company yeah. and Baron Harlot was always the same and, and there, were, there, there was a consistency to it. Don't you think that having a, a, a larger permanent company rather than a smallish nucleus is, is, is better for the audience? Because I think the principal boy character is almost as important as the dame in, 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 in yeah. the, the, the structure and, of the and piece. And I think there comes a point where it, you know, it's got to be a principal boy, not a principal man, you know, mm. and people get older. Do you know what I mean? You, you know, and I, th I think we've, 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 got to, we've got to look at those things and, um, and, 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 and new talent. And I think, I think bringing on the new talent is, is, is really important because, let's face it, Pantomime is one of the biggest employers in absolutely. British theatre. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, so, so, so I'm excited by, by working with new people. It's a new energy, um, you know, uh, and, you know, with Wendy, Willie... Um, uh, 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 Tweedy, and you know, we, you know, we're we're, we're perpetuating the, 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 those safeguards for people. Mm. And um, no. where do you start? Do you start? How how can we do this differently? Is that your starting point? Yeah, I and my my point is every time is to go back to the story. What is the story about? But if you do things in a cycle of every five years, you're surely going to come up with the same answers? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. You know, like turning the, turning the so-called ugly sisters into the evil stepsisters this year is different. Um, I think also looking at what, what, are, what are the contemporary issues at the moment, they're, they're, like consumerism. That, that, that was, uh, uh, remember a few years ago, I did a very green one with, with uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, that everything was about recycling and all that sort of thing. So I, I'm really interested in responding to what are the issues of uh, the, the big issues of the day. Any mention of Jeremy Corbyn? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you. What I'm, you know me. There's, there's way, no way that you can't mention those things. They, they're expected, particularly in the evening shows. Mm. They, I think. That, that is why it happened, wasn't it? Because it was when the it was when the fools took over the asylum. Because when the actor managers rested at Christmas, said I don't want to do anything, and they, they just didn't perform, and their companies created pantomime, they were naughty, and that's why boys just as girls, girls just as boys, and they took the rise out of the out of the, the actor manager and what was happening in society and it is about being naughty and saying out loud what you're not supposed to say and that's joyous isn't it that is joy and ev every child's dream to say it out loud and inside us is every child who'd love to say it anyway <laughs> so you know i think i think it has to be naughty I think it has to be naughty, mm. and that, that's what keeps it dangerous and exciting. Do you think naughty is a key word for pantomime? Yes, I do. I love being naughty, and every child loves being naughty, and every adult, you know, come on. So I think there is that. No, but there is a, there is a sort of complicity in naughtiness. Hmm. Um, that There's lots, lots of like, sorts. Like, and, and, and with, with pantomime, there is this complicity. Yes, you're being naughty, but yes, it's good fun, and we don't yeah. mind you on this occasion. Yes, yes exactly. Yes, exactly. Being naughty. But it's that naughtiness that allows you to say something that you probably wouldn't be able to say in any other context. Hmm which I think is exciting.